Welcome to the European Spaceport in French Guiana. My name is Beatriz Romero and I am Darian Space Program Director in charge of the customer interface and mission preparation for UTELSAT 7C launch services. UTELSAT, one of the world's leading telecommunication operators, has entrusted us for the launch of this satellite and it will fly in the lower position of the Ariane launcher 248. UTELSAT 7C has been manufactured by Maxar in Palo Alto. Let me introduce you the UTELSAT US Programs Director, Mr. Arlen Casillian. Good afternoon, Arlen. Good afternoon, Beatrice. Which is the main mission of the satellite and the market that UTELSAT is targeting? The satellite will serve markets across Africa, Europe and Middle East through 49 36 MHz equivalent KU band transponder. It will be co-located with UTELSAT 7B at 7 degrees, increasing capacity for this dynamic video neighborhood by 19 transponder. UTELSAT 7A will be then relocated as part of the UTELSAT fleet optimization strategy. UTELSAT 7C is based on the new version, all electric, of the well-known 1300 platform, which has been the main challenges during the development and the manufacturing of the satellite, and what are the advantages of this all electric platform. All electric satellites provide efficient solutions for satellite operators by reducing launch mass while increasing spacecraft flexibility and performance. UTELSAT has been a pioneer in all electric platforms since 2015, collaborating with many major satellite suppliers. An non electric platform results in a satellite of lower mass and volume that allows UTELSAT to take advantage of favorable launch opportunities notably launching with the lower position of an Ariane 5, which is a common interest for both UTELSAT and Ariane Espace. Thank you very much, Arlen. We have seven other UTELSAT satellites in our backlog, so we look forward to see you soon for another launch campaign. Yeah, thanks, Beatrice. To conclude, as UTELSAT always says just before liftoff, go Ariane, go Maxar, go UTELSAT 7C.